Shiga, are you all right? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andras, too. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. I agree. And I offer my own life. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. That is an excellent point. 
one of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the Mage's help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. told you the only thing I can think of. We received no word from the Circle of Magi yet. Connor remains quiet for the moment. He remains upstairs for the moment. I, I have no idea what will happen if someone tries to go up there. As you wish. I hope that something will come of it, and soon. There has been no sight of the mages yet. If you intend to continue with this plan, I suggest you...
right.